everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel Ray here and today I have another flip through of the World of Craft Stitching magazine. This is issue 296 for August 2020 and as always I'm just going to flip through and tell you what to expect if you're interested in purchasing this magazine. Of course if you want it to be a surprise then please skip the video but um, just so that it's out there and it is it should be available in shops at the time of posting this video so join me and let's see what they have to offer this month um in the in the envelope with the magazine came this small insert uh it's called summer wishes and it's so cute look at this let me see it is Designed by Doreen Jones, it says Sandy Toes, Salty Kisses, Lazy Days, and Summer Wishes. I think that's adorable. So uh, I'm not going to open it up, but on the back of this little pamphlet, it has the key and all the DMC that you might need or Anchor or Madeira, whatever you like to use. They have suggestions on what type of needle to use, what type of fabric to use, etc. Um, and it says if you follow their advice, the approximate cost is 25 pounds for this project. So that's really cool that they do that. I really do enjoy that. And I love Doreen Jones. <laughs> that's, that's no mystery. Here on the cover, it shows you what to expect. And we have another, like a load of really beautiful patterns in this issue. So let's just get to it. As always, when you open it up, they send give you a welcome, uh, tell you what's in the contents, show you who is some some of the designers in the magazine and they have giveaways and all that kind of stuff here's a, a more detailed breakdown of what is in the book um, and also if you're not interested in paper patterns they do have a digital magazine and you can check that out I will put a link down below where you can purchase a subscription either paper based or digital I got the paper so that I could share it with you guys so here we got our guests. So these are readers of the magazine who have um, been chosen to to give their feedback and share a little bit about their experience. I think that's really cool. I aspire <laughs> to be one of these people. Um, and then the first chart, as always, is a furry tails design. Uh, these are Lucy Heaton's and they're just tiny stitches, really small, easy stitches that you could probably do in a day or two. And they're all mice. <laughs> and they're so cute. There's a whole family of mice. This is Monty and this is him fishing, obviously. Uh, last issue, it was Flossie and Flossie was dressed up like a unicorn, et cetera, et cetera. Super cute. Um, I'd love to see them all stitched together someday. That would just be amazing. Uh, next we have ads. This is the, the information about the gift. Um, I'm just going to put my hand here. I'm sure that you can't see any of the patterns, but just to be careful. Um, she says, uh, the heartfelt sentiment written here popped into her head as she was flicking through some of her holiday snaps. I'm sure that a lot of us feel that way while we're cocooning or uh, just staying indoors at this time, this summer. And like, so this is called Forever Friends and designed by Hallmark. Isn't this adorable? It just, that bear looks so soft and cuddly with the beautiful shading and the back stitching. Those flowers are phenomenal. I like I like these stitches up here. Those are those are really beautiful. So the happy bear is carrying a big armful of fabulous flowers, which are almost the same size as the bearer. <laughs> so cute. Um, it says this is advanced beginner intermediate, probably because of the back stitch and the French knots that are in the flowers up here. But isn't that just adorable? Uh, that could be used for anything, you know, anniversary, birthday, thank you, you know, you name it. But I think it would take a little bit of time. It says approximately 28 hours. There's a lot of shading in there. So that that's what makes it beautiful. Um, and yes, it again, it has like a shopping list if you want to keep it easy and just go by the recommendations. Um, but you can always stitch these on whatever you want whatever size you want. Um, 
their recommendations are just just that recommendations okay I'm gonna skip the pattern and go on to this page these are the letters from readers and uh, look at this this is I hope you can see this mermaid is just gorgeous I love it it says that she got this in RTO I'm not sure what that is but isn't that adorable and then We've got more people sending in their pictures. Look, here's a little, um, oh, I can't remember the name of this mouse. But anyway, like I said, in the furry tales, it's just so cute. People sharing all of their stitching with us. More of that. Uh, love this one. Uh, just gorgeous. It says that this was in issue 281, June of 2019. Awesome. I love the way she framed it with the dowel and then the tassels at the bottom. That is so cool. I never would have thought to do that. So that's another finish that you could do. Oh, and look at this. So this is like um, a family tree birthday chart. So here they have all the months of the year and then hanging down here they have people's names and the date. That is so cool. Love it. Um, so yes, more and more of that. Here's our first big chart of the magazine. So this one is called Birthday Cards and it shows milestone birthdays. Now I'm sure that you could change the the numbers uh, at the end of the pattern. They have like a number, a number, what would you call it? Yes, <laughs> a pattern that is just numbers. So you can substitute whatever number you want. You don't have to do these exact numbers, but aren't they adorable? You've got um, happy birthday, flying by to wish you many happy returns, best wishes, cheers to you, to you with love and have a great day. So covering all the bases there. <laughs> they say it's advanced beginner intermediate, probably because of the back stitching and uh, and like this one looks very involved. It's got beautiful patterns in it actually. All of them, all of them do, but you know. So this is by Angela Poole and it says, every year is so important to my two children. They even count the quarter years of their ages. I wanted to capture a bit of that childhood joy of age celebration on these designs for adults. Such a badge too. Exactly, it's a badge of honor. So I'm going to have to skip quite a bit and it actually they give you instructions on how to put these onto cards so you could send them as a birthday card. In this section is the, called the shop and stitch our best buys. So they go out and look for designs and charts that are new um, that they just want to share with us and there are so many here. Obviously there's rainbows to cheer us up. Um, we've got the great outdoors. These are, these are beautiful. Um, these are quite easy to stitch because they're solid color. So they would go really quickly if you're looking for something quick and easy, but also striking and beautiful to do. Um, just a bunch of really beautiful ones. I like this clover one. The artist, the embroidery artist is Hisako, Hisako Ni Nishisu, yes, um, and she's got these wildflowers and grasses which are very delicate and, and quite beautiful. Uh, and then down here, this one really got to me. Um, this is Design Works Full Bloom Garden. I think that this would take my entire life to do. Let me see if I can get you closer. That would take my entire life to do. <laughs> It's so beautiful. So let's make sure that we're back on track. Now, look at it. This one's called Blossoming Hedgehog. Oh my goodness. I absolutely adore this. It is so cute. So for those of you who have a hedgehog or who just enjoy Doreen Jones and her work, this is adorable. It's so much backstitching, but it looks so cute. I absolutely love the flowers that are coming up and around here. And I think it would be really easy. If you're an embroidery artist, you could actually do needle needlework, like embroidery here, and then cross stitching in the middle. I think that would look amazing too. What do you think? Um, 
This one is intermediate, probably because of just the extent to which you're doing back stitching, but gorgeous. Just be careful when you're if you're doing this one to not carry your thread uh, behind your fabric. On Ada, it's probably not as noticeable, but on linen or even weave, you're gonna want to hide your stitches, your starting stitches um, behind the line instead of bringing it over from another line. Does that make sense? Because a lot of us make that mistake when we're new and uh, I'm just waiting for it to happen to me. <laughs> I don't think I'm above the law or anything, but um, just a helpful tip on that. Um, okay, so that is that one. Then we have the pet of the month. This one has actually been claimed. Um, I had a winner in one of my floss tube videos. If you don't watch my floss tube, I do giveaways sometimes, and I like to give away these pets of the month because if I don't have that pet, then there's no need for me to keep the chart. I'd like to share with love. Um, this particular dog is a Leonberger, Leonberger, Berger. Uh, I'm sure I'm butchering this name, but these are like really special dogs that worked in World War II, World War I and World War II to carry ammunition and they were almost completely wiped out. So they're quite rare and they're beautiful. Um, but there's lots of pets that they do and every month there's a new one. If you haven't gotten this magazine, <laughs> the digital copy is available still, uh, but the paper copy is sold out. Um, I do have a flip through of this magazine if you're interested. It's all East Asian designs and it is gorgeous. You should definitely check it out. Um, here they have an expert panel that will answer questions. So um, that's really helpful. If you're having tr trouble and you'd like to ask a question, you can always send it in. Uh, they actually have a place in the back of the book where you can send in your questions and see if they will answer. More of that here. Um, this is actually a, <laughs> Jenny actually makes a pattern based on your recommendations and there was a reader named Monique who asks, asked for a Karen Terrier, a little Karen Terrier, and that's what that is. So cute. So Stitchy Help, you can email the world of X stitching at inner, no, the world of X stitching at immediate.co.uk. That's where you can ask the experts. Lots and lots of advice loads of techniques and things like that. Um, oh, here's here's a good tip. How do I know what direction to make my half stitches? Um, it says it's actually dependent on personal choice and how you do your half stitches. It's, it's commonly used for shadows or backgrounds to create depth as it has less dense, dense coverage, allowing some of the fabric color to show through around it. The direction of the half stitch is never stated on the pattern unless it has a particular direction to stitch it, such as to create a specific effect with different directions used on the same design. Instead, you should make sure that all of your half stitches lie in the same direction as the top arm of your whole stitches. Now that I did not know, and that is a really good tip. On my tapestry, uh, sorry, I call it my tapestry. <laughs> On my heaven and earth design, I'm actually doing the entire, the entire cross stitch in half stitches. However, because there are no full stitches, I'm just doing it with the direction of the first leg of my stitching. So I am the, the person, if you ever wondered, I'm the person that goes from the top left to the bottom right first. So that is how I'm doing it. But if I'm reading this correctly, I should align it the other way if I'm doing full crosses and half crosses in half stitches in my design. So thank you so much for answering that question because I've always wondered. Um, here we have some more designs, uh, maritime designs. Beautiful. I love these. I love these. This one is Stitch Rovia. And it's, does it say, 
I suppose it's called Ahoy Nautical. Really nice. Um, I love these types of designs as well. Uh, super, super detailed ones, but they do take a long time to stitch because there's so many color changes. But that's okay. That's all right. Um, now, this is Fiona. She's a designer as well, and she's going to focus on black work on in this particular issue, uh, making this beautiful jellyfish, which is gorgeous. Um, she has a history here, how to stitch it, the technique used, and things like that. And look at how beautiful. I love it. I actually really enjoy this alternate here. I think that's beautiful too. Um, but gorgeous black work. Uh, it looks as though this might be a toile or some kind of shiny floss. I can see some sparkle in this corner, so I'm not sure. Um, let's, let's just take a peek. Nope, maybe it's just in my imagination. But wouldn't it look cool in a toile? I think it would. It'd probably be a pain to stitch, but still. Um, this is beginner, advanced to beginner. Uh, it's not so difficult. It's just cross stitches and back stitching. It seems like it would be difficult, but it, I promise you it wouldn't take that long at all. Now, ooh, check this out. When you subscribe to this magazine, does it say it's a limited time offer? You can get this included, yeah, you, for free. So if you're a Tiger fan, why not sign up to a magazine? Um, it says you're getting six issues for just 25 pounds, 49 pence. That's not too bad. I think I think that it's so that they can finish off the year. So you're getting the last six months of the year plus this kit with the Ada needle chart and anchor threads. That's cool. Good idea. Um, fun at the sea. Oh, if you want this, sorry, excuse me. Let me go back. If you want this offer, you're probably going to have to follow this link or call them by phone or post it in. So just so that you know, I, I think that it's easiest to go online to do it, but if you want the phone number, just pause the video and, and give them a call. Don't forget to quote this issue, WCP 296. Okay, I don't work for them, so. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to make sure that if you're if you're signing up that you do it the way to get the kit. Okay. Next up we have fun at the seaside. This is the uh, part of the part of this uh, issue where they give you little tiny designs like motifs that you can use in your own sampler or you can stitch on their own. These are all seaside designs. I'm going to. It says there's 39 quick and easy motifs. Doreen Jones design inspiration, stitches for every level, every skill level. So one thing I noticed when I was looking here earlier, I have to take it off screen because I'll end up show, oh wait, I can show you this page. Um, they have simple ones with no back stitching, and then they have very detailed ones that will take quite a bit of time. Um, so as you can see, there's just some really cute ones in here. I love that. That's so cute. Um, the rest of them, let's see, the watermelon border is probably my favorite. They've got crabs and sun cream. They've got two ladies in their swim costumes and it's as fun in the sun. Lots of cocktails, <laughs> umbrellas, beach umbrellas, um, you know, a pale and a shovel with sand, all these little motifs to remind you of summer, which is fantastic. We've got a mile high ice cream. Oh, that looks so good. Starfish, etc. So really fun designs. Okay, next up is another Furry Tales. This is 
so cute. Look at this wedding sampler. You can personalize it. They have the alphabet in the pattern and also numbers and things to make it your own. So you just substitute your name for uh, for the mice's name, the mouse, mouse's mice, the mouse's names. Oh dear, possessives. Anyway, um, this is a beginner chart, they say, which is great. Um, so anybody can stitch this. Don't be afraid to start. Just start right in the middle and you'll be fine. And a gorgeous little uh, cans here off the back bumper and hearts all over. So cute. Um, I'm going to have to skip again. There is some online news here on this page. So here's some updates on previous stitches. Uh, we have thank yous and that beautiful, um, they made it like a, a couch cushion pin holder kind of thing. Beautiful. I love that it has, they put in um, skeins of floss at the bottom and some buttons. Cute touch. Um, happy Mother's Day. And then look at the sampler. So cute. That May, April, April spring sampler. Very cute. Oh, and look, a floss tuber. So they've, they've done a vlogger of the month highlight. How cool. Stitching it on YouTube. Go check her out. All right, next up we have daisy chains. I love daisy chains. <laughs> I love making daisy chains and making my friends wear them. Um, so this is an alphabet that is all daisy chains. Beautiful green letters with back stitching and different colored flowers where you're using like a, um, a special stitch. I believe it's called something loop. It's called the Lazy Daisy, Lazy Daisy ABC. Oh, and it's a Lazy Daisy stitch. Duh. So really pretty. It can really spice up. You know, you could make a sign for someone's bedroom door, a child, or an adult. I mean, I would appreciate it. So this is the the one where Fabi does her, Fabi Riley does her master class and she teaches you how to do a new stitch. And in this issue, we're doing the woven picot, 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 I don't know, stitch. It looks like this. It's like a woven stitch. Um, and she shows you exactly how to do it. That is so cool. Really, really cool. I'm trying to think of all the other ways that you could use it in a design that isn't a starfish, but my brain is not allowing me <laughs> to do that. So you'll be able to do the quick challenge if you purchase this magazine. Next up, Jean Henderson did some really pretty mini pot holders with different designs on them. So we've got these uh, with flowers and leaves. Uh, this one is like little buttons or I don't know what the, you would call them, but they are really pretty. And it gives you finishing instructions as well. There are different flowers, tulips, and yeah, buttons and the blue flowers those one there. So the ones that you can't see are the tulips. I'm so sorry. Now, then we have our giveaway page where you can enter into your giveaways. Um, and this one, they're giving away more Doreen Jones, um, Boffy Threads, Creative Poppy. I actually just purchased from that website yesterday. <laughs> and some more Lucy Heaton's. Gorgeous. Aha! Love it. Maria Diaz did it again. So in the last issue, she did a woman. And in this issue, they're releasing the man. So they would go really well together. I actually have it right here to share with you. Let me get her out because you have to see them together. So if you put them together, that is how it will look. Isn't that amazing? He's looking at her. 
the, the tree goes together. I would stitch these two together. No doubt about it. Look at the little frame that goes around the corners. I absolutely love, I, I love this. I adore this. One day I will stitch this. It is, oh, <laughs> it's a romance novel. So if you want this one to go with this one, make sure that you get uh, issue 295 as well so that you'll have the opportunity to have both pieces. But yes, incredible. This is an intermediate pattern. I believe it calls for metallic thread. Yes, light effects, DMC light effects. Look at all the beautiful gold. It's shining off of his armor. Just gorgeous. Um, and they reckon, reckon that it'll take about 60 hours or more. So, oh, and there's beads too. I wonder where the beads are. Let's see. Oh, it's in his armor. Yeah, right here. The, all those little dots, the white dots are beads. <gasps> so pretty. And I think that's it, guys. Let's see. Way of the Warrior, Samurai Scene. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So in the back, you have your game. Uh, there's some more advertisements. And then they tell you what's in next month's edition. It should be here soon, hopefully. Um, we've got an Amanda Gregory Dreamcatcher. Beautiful. I love the way they finish that. We've got the allotment scene from the... Oh, gosh, hold on. What's her name? She did the Hampton Court scene in the last issue, this one. Come here. What's her name? What's her name? Ginny Vandaliel, yes. Um, and I am super excited for that. Um, we've got some more home cards. We've got, oh, look at that. It's a Mayflower. Uh, beautiful stitch, wow. So if you're into ships or you know someone who's into ships, as you know, this is the 400th year anniversary since the Mayflower's voyage to the Americas. Um, then we have an Anne Stokes exclusive, amazing. Anne Stokes is a fantasy artist, so that's your opportunity to get a licensed Anne Stokes piece of art, uh, cross-stitching pattern with a woman and her unicorn. There's some, aww, cross-stitch rulers, how cute. And another Furry Tales card, oh, a card kit. Excellent, we get a little hippie, how cute. How cute. Um, and there's lots, lots more, they say. Uh, a, a cute frog alphabet set. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Um, so that's it. There's your how to stitch, the stockist list, and how to get the digital version of the magazine. You can just go on to Kindle Fire, Google Play, or the App Store and look for the world of cross stitching and you can download the app and get started. But again, if you wanted to get that tiger, then you may want to go back in this video, pause the video and then give them a ring or go to the website. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the flip through. If you did, you know what to do and I will see you all very, very soon in the next one. Take care everybody. Bye.